Hello and welcome to my graded unit presentation. Today I'm going to be telling you all about my idea for my website and uh, what I plan on doing. So the overall idea for this graded unit project is to create and develop a review site that features both movies and TV reviews. So the website will feature information on the cast, who starred in it, the release date in the UK, the overall synopsis of the story, a little kind of mini bio about it. After each review, there'll be a link to a trailer so that the reader can watch the trailer and get a general overview of the film or the show or whatever it is that I'm talking about. To rate the films, I'll do that out of five, out of five stars. Kind of looks a bit like this. This is a four star review here. Just shows, it just keeps it simple and makes it easy to search for things on the website and find the general ideas. I have a number of specific topics already planned that I want to talk about. I want to include these on the page and have I've started writing some of them already. Obviously due to the current circumstances I've had to kind of tailor a few things in my, to fit in with the idea of quarantine and, and Covid so I'll be doing a couple of things on the website specifically related to Covid such as like a like my quarantine watch list, what I'm watching at the minute when I'm stuck at home and then under each one I'll have like a little mini review, a little bit of a description about what it is and why I like it kind of thing, just to give a little insight into myself and what I'm doing during this time. I also plan on doing a little section of things like where my friends and family are recommending things that they're watching at the minute, just to try and get a sense of community. So I'm going to show you a little walkthrough of my website, the design that I've got so far for it, and as you can see it's quite a bright colourful website, I haven't got a title yet, I'm still trying to come up with something that's sort of short and catchy. Uh, so if I scroll down here you'll be able to see, uh, here's a featured post, the quarantine watch list, and a little bit for people to be able to subscribe to my thing. There's a list of recent posts and about me section, which I'm yet to fill out. Uh, a link to an Instagram page that I'm planning on setting up. So this is my homepage, obviously. I've got news, TV, film, lists, and I've got a little section for all the posts. So if I click on the TV bit here, we'll be able to see what I've done. It's a bit slow. So here's the quarantine watch list, because it's got TV shows in it. I've tagged the Ask TV, so this section will be everything related to TV will be in this section here. So if I click on the quarantine watch list, um, I haven't filled it out yet, I've just put in some images at the minute and yet to go and fill out little reviews and stuff like that, I just haven't had the chance to do that yet. I'm planning on adding to it as well, I've got a few things on my watch list I'm waiting to watch in the coming nights, I'm planning to add on to this. So a bit like the title of the show and then when it was out and a little image and then there'll be a little description of it and things like that. Synopsis and the cast list and that kind of thing underneath it. So there's a few different things here, very different genres as you can tell. If we scroll back up and if we go to the, the film section here is where anything related to film will be. Anything that I've tagged film, any blogs or posts or anything like that that's got the word film in it. So I've got my Jojo Rabbit review here and obviously the quarantine watch list is back because there was a couple of films in there. So if I click on this Jojo Rabbit review here I'll be able to show you what my review layout is. So here you can see I've got the title, the date it was out and then like a little short line of introduction and then it's got the star rating there so I've rated this film four stars. And then it's got the cast list, um, the director, the UK release date and a synopsis. I've also included whether or not you can stream it anywhere in the UK currently, but this one isn't. But if you could, it would have like available to stream in on Amazon. And there's also the movie poster there. And then I have started talking about it in depth and included images to break it up so it's not just one big wall of text. Underneath each image there's like a little, little note that says who's in it. And then there's also a trailer at the bottom embedded into the blog so people can have a look at that and again you can share it to social media or like or comment or whatever you feel like doing. I have the list section um, which again has everything tagged to lists at the minute I've only got these two posts so we're not going to click on that. If you click on all posts at the end here it takes you to like a little main page where at the top there it's got all the tags that I use so if you're looking for something in specific and there's also a uh, way of getting in contact with me there as well so you can type in your name your email address and what you'd like to tell me so I think that would be quite interactive and good but yeah that's just a general overview of my website there 
We've gone with quite an interesting aesthetic, I think. I don't think it's one that you would expect to see on a movie review website. It's quite different in that it's kind of like an 80s synthwave kind of aesthetic. It's very bright, colourful, lots of pinks and blues and purples and neon colouring. So I've tried to reflect that throughout the whole website with the colours I use for posts and texts and all that kind of thing. I just think it's, um, it's kind of aesthetic I kind of enjoy, so I'd kind of, I like to keep that involved in my website as much as possible. And obviously I've gone for a movie review site because I watch a lot of media content. I watch a lot of movies and TV and I go to the cinema a lot and I just think it's something that would really fit with what I'm like as a person. I think it's the best way to really enjoy what I'm doing. I'm excited to show you the final product in the end and I hope you're excited to see it too. Thank you.